Do you know what dal rice does to your blood sugar? I have a continuous glucose monitor and let's find out. Dal rice was our staple food growing up where we had it for lunch every day. So I really want to know what this does to my blood sugar. Here I have 250 grams of white rice and 350 grams of tuar or arhar dal. This is about 700 to 800 calories. This is how much I used to eat typically. Let's find out. In this series, my goal is to use natural ways to not have a sugar spike when I have dal and rice. Let's see what the glucose monitor says. Wow, I'm amazed that there's an increase of 46 mg reaching a height of 136 mg. The peak of 136 mg is still less than the peak I had when I had dates, Starbucks drink or coke. So it is still good because of that. When I had coke, I also got an increase of 46 mg but that crashed within one hour and 10 minutes. Whereas with this dal rice, it took three hours for the blood glucose to come back to normal. And that's because there's a lot of fiber in dal and rice because of which the fibers slow down how fast your intestines can absorb the glucose in your body. So the more fiber you eat, the longer your body will take to absorb the glucose, which is good. I will say that when the glucose was coming down and there was a sugar crash, I felt really sleepy and that's why you will notice that we have a tendency to feel sleepy in the afternoon when we have a very carb heavy lunch and that's because our sugar is crashing which makes us feel tired. Let's see in the next couple of videos if we can reduce this sugar spike using some natural methods. Follow to see what happens next.